All right, so we're going to uh, upgrade from Lollipop to Marshmallow on the Blue Life XL. And we talked last time about the three different ways to do that. And uh, I won't rehash all of that, but just in brief, there is, uh, you know, finding a similar device and building that device again from scratch, or there is uh, going ahead and um, going through the commits of something that's been upgraded and adding those to yours, or uh, just looking at the end result and comparing the files and editing yours to somewhat match. Those are the three main methods for updating, uh, you know, a device from one version of Android to another. Uh, we did build uh, Lineage OS uh, Lollipop last time with the Blue Life XL. We built the tree from scratch. And uh, this time we're going to be uh, building Marshmallow for the Blue Life XL. And we're going to be doing that by building the device from scratch yet again. Now you might wonder why did I pick this method after we had just built the device from scratch already? We will, don't worry, we will be covering all three methods, whether we go through the commits or whether we compare the end result files or just building device from scratch. Uh, but uh, I have a particular reason for wanting to do that um, today, but I also want to point out why that might be a good method for you. If you found that your phone or tablet is very similar to another phone or tablet, so we'll call your phone or tablet tablet A, and uh, or phone A and the other one phone or tablet B. So if your A, which has no ROM, or at least has not been upgraded to the next version, is very similar to B, and you found that you could download all the stuff for B and make a small amount of edits and actually be able to build it, and it was you know moderately successful, then it only took a little bit of effort to modify the B tree to make your A device work. All right. I'm hoping you're following me here. Like we did with the Wicco L5510. We went through the Wicco L5510 and we changed its device tree to be Blue Life XL. And almost, I say almost, almost straight out of the box, it booted up. And now, not everything worked, and we, we of course, had to do some work there. Um, but we did have to change some things in the vendor files in particular. To, uh, to get things kick-started properly. So if you have to do just a small amount of work to make that function, then it's almost easier <clears throat> if that device has been upgraded to the next version of Android just to go ahead and copy it again and just do your small edits that you already know what to do. Um, so that's a good reason to do this this method of you know device tree from scratch essentially by doing it again. Now we again we are going to cover the other methods as we go from hopefully from marshmallow to nugget and nugget to Oreo and Oreo maybe even to Pi. But uh, for sure right now we're going to start with device tree from scratch. But also the reason I want to start with device tree from scratch on this one to do our upgrade is we're actually going to rebase the entire device tree. That's right. So last time we built with the Wicco, um, Wicco L5510, and this time I want to use the Uyalabi. Now we utilize the Uyalabi first to build our TeamWin Recovery Project device tree from scratch, if you remember that. Um, and then we end up using the uh, Wicco L5510 to build our Lollipop device tree from scratch. But I want to build the Yalabi. Uh, device tree from scratch for Marshmallow and then we're going to go through the commits to go from Marshmallow to Nugget and Nugget um, to Oreo hopefully we'll do the uh, the file method so um, lots of good things to uh, to look forward to there and uh, hopefully that makes sense now the big thing to do you should always if you're using a device as a standard as a guide or something to go by you should try to build it first and this is what I did here. I already have Lineage OS Marshmallow installed on this machine, and I went ahead and built the uh, unofficial Yalabi um, zip for the Yalabi uh, Lineage Yalabi, which is the code name for the U uh, Unique phone. So always make sure that it builds before you start using it, because otherwise you might just be setting yourself up for failure really handy thing to know. Um, getting it uh, built uh, tells us that everything we need is present and everything we need will will actually build successfully and most likely since it's already out there it 
probably work successfully also on the phone it was originally designed for. So once again, we can't do this without lots of research, but we've already done that uh, before when we looked at it for lollipop and that sort of thing. So we really have a pretty good uh, uh, thing going on here. So we can jump into our device, and we see that we have, uh, now I've also built the Wicko before, but we have this U for Yalabi, and we're just going to copy that because we're just building it from scratch here. And we're making a new folder, we're going to call it blue. And we're going to paste our Yalabi. And of course, we're just going to rename it to Life XL. And just like we did in the previous video, we have to go through here and we're going to change everything to say Life XL instead of Yalabi. Uh, last time we did this with the, with the um, L5510. But so we have Yalabi and we're going to change that to say Life XL. We'll just copy that. Oh, sorry, I've got lots of things open here. We'll go ahead and close that all out. We'll save this file. We'll just go through and change everything in here. That points to the wrong place. So, all that seems fine. Full Life XL. We're going to save that. We're going to have to jump in here real quick to say change this. Life XL. There we go. And then back to where we were. And we can just keep opening these up. Life XL, U to be blue. And which we saw this also when we did our team win recovery project as well. Um, your lobby, we're going to change that to Life Excel. We're just going through right now doing the very, very basic of just changing anything that says U to blue and anything that says uh, your lobby to Life Excel. So we can save that. Um, this board info, we're going to talk about that in a minute, but we're actually going to get rid of that completely. Where is that in here? Uh, so board info, that's a way that you can have it actually check uh, something to make sure like it's the right baseband or something like that. And we want to take that out because if we don't know what the result should be, then we're going to end up uh, getting a um, an error when we try to install it. And in this case, you can see it's like require version baseband 2.0.2.c1.4-00039. So that that's something we don't know what that's going to be on our phone. Like maybe if you're really smart or can look it up, then you would figure that out. But uh, I don't want to uh, to use that. I just want to go ahead and delete this. because we don't necessarily need to limit ourselves in that way. That would be something like if you um, had built a device tree that was specific to a certain, in that case, like a certain baseband, like the the SIM, the reel is not going to work. You're not going to be able to connect to the cell phone tower without having the proper baseband based on what equipment is installed in this in this version. So um, we uh, we don't need to limit ourselves like that so we'll just go ahead and skip that. Alright so we're looking through here um, just going ahead and changing anything that says blue or anything that says U to blue and Anything that says your lobby to Life XM. Now notice uh, this goes back and calls device CyanGen MSM 8916 common MSM 8916 
uh, .make file, which also is the same thing the Wiko did. So the Wiko and this Yulabi both draw from the same common file. They just have some separate uh, portions in their make file. So that's good to keep in mind. All right, so life Excel. Blue, blue, life XL, life XL, life XL, life XL, blue, and blue. Right. Dependencies. Uh, we're going to need the same dependencies, so we'll leave those in there as they are. Blue. Life XL. Life XL. Life XL. Life XL, blue, product name, this time we're going to use the capital, Life XL, Life XL, device, Life XL, product name, Life XL. All right, we'll save that. Not too exciting, but hopefully you're still with me here. Um, blue. All right, so let's find your lobby. How about you? How about unique? Nothing. All right, so all of those are good. Just looking things over real quick. And so we know a couple of things uh, right off the bat that are going to be different. This uh, phone has completely different... Um, oh, completely different cameras. So that's going to be something we need to keep in mind. All right. So We've changed the device tree, and um, all of the all of these in here. But we have to still go through and find any make files in here. Okay, none in audio. Um, this will probably say something like the wrong name so we'll say life XL save uh, let's see we've got Bluetooth camera okay we've got Android make so that's fine doesn't mention anything in particular we'll look at the clean spec That's fine. No more make files in there. Android make. And these should be fine because once you start getting down to these lower levels, they're typically um, not asking for device specific, but rather the architecture of the phone. But uh, it's still easy to check and make sure that none of them say. You, you lobby, and the big thing is uh, a lot of these make files will specify they'll only build if you're building the U U lobby. So then it's like if you're building something else, it won't build, and that can be a little bit of a problem for you. 
So let's see. Um, some hardware information. We'll just look for Yalami and you. I don't think there's anything like that in there. Media profiles, again, that should not actually have any effect. Thermal, um, not likely to have anything, but we'll search anyways. Display, we've got our Android make here. And none of that is what we need. Android make file and it just says build everything under this it doesn't specify specifically that it has to be any certain device okay so that's fine let's see all right target device you lobby life XL so we want to make sure that it's going to build when we're building the life XL save that Key layout really should be fine. Overlays should, well, overlays might have something specific. Your lobby, unique, nope, okay. Sometimes overlays can have a specific value. Your lobby or unique. Especially if the overlay tells it to name it something in particular. Okay, app styler. All right, that's fine. And that's fine. Okay. Packages, services, telecom, res values. All right, so we're doing good so far. Um, call everything in this directory. Doesn't matter if it's your lobby or not. That's good. And here we go, where it only does this if it's your lobby, so we want to make sure that it's life XL. Everything looks good there. Uh, and when I say everything looks good, I just mean a cursory look. I, I don't, I mean, I'm not like a wizard, like all of a sudden I know, oh, yeah, that's all good, that's all going to work or not. I just, just kind of generally looking at things. All right, so we've got everything in this tree changed to say life XL. So what we need now is we're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it blue in the vendor category, right? And we're going to go into you. We're going to copy this to lobby. We're going to go into blue. We're going to paste it here. F2, we're going to change that to Life XL, of course. We're going to change the name of this F2 to be Life XL. And open that up. And then what you can do is you can take this Yuya Lobby right here and Control H and change that to Blue. Blue. Life XL and then just replace all. There we go. Close. And then we find we look for your lobby or you or unique. None of those are in there. Alright, so we're gonna save this. We'll open up this and we can control H again, replace all close we can save that we'll open up this one 
first we'll go ahead and change any of those. Replace, close, control H, replace your lobby with just life XL. Place all, close, save. So then we need to control H, anything that says U to be blue, but this one We want to find each one, and I want to replace one at a time to make sure that's not some part of a bigger word. Find. All right, sweet. So we got them all. So we'll save that. Um, we shouldn't have anything else in here. These are all just the parts and pieces that it's going to be copied over. So we can cancel out of here. So now our vendor is set up. And so then we need to work on our kernel. Now with that, uh, we have to consider what did our board config say? What kernel were we going to use? Uh, the kernel, we're going to use uh, this def config, but it's going back to CyanGen MSM 8916-common board config.com that's or dot com dot make that's where we're going to find uh, the uh, name of the kernel so we're going to go to board config common here and it says include all this stuff under here and we'll open this up let's take uh, Look here at the make file. Open. I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. Was it specified in here? Let's see. Interesting. I don't see where specifying the kernel. Typically, that's in board config. And we have kernel here, and it's going to use this config, but typically it tells it where the kernel is going to be. And of course, sometimes it'll be specified by something else, like in this case, the board config common. So, device, cyanogen, board, kernel. There we go, board kernel. All right, so it's going to be kernel, cyanogen, MSM 8916. So that's good to know. Um, we do want to put... Uh, SE Linux in our main one. Copy that and we'll put boot dot SE Linux equals permissive. All right, because we want it to be permissive. And so now we know our kernel is in kernel signed in MSN, MSM 8916. So let's head over there. Kernel sign engine MSM 8916. We're going to go to arch, arm, uh, configs. And then we should see a cyan engine mod config right here uh, and then maybe there's a lineage yeah lineage Jalabi so we'll open that up and we're going to save it as life XL and now it's life XL we could uh, go ahead and do something like change the version or something like that 
a um, lot of interesting things we could do here but we're going to just kind of work with it from what we got and let's see what we get um, right off the bat so we've got everything in place we should now be able to um, run our uh, build environment setup again and go ahead and uh, build this and it should successfully build at this point um, because the Yolabi built with all of this information so it should successfully build that doesn't mean it's actually gonna work so hopefully we'll uh, take a look and see um, how we can fix that uh, something to consider is um, you know if you need any help with what I'm doing as far as setting this up and how we're running these brunch commands and we've synchronized uh, lineage OS marshmallow all of those sort of things I cover those in depth in a lot of my other videos please feel free to check them out um, but what we're really focusing on right now is just how to build uh, how to upgrade from one device to another and this particular time we're, we're working with the premise of building device tree from scratch to upgrade from lollipop to Marshmallow by taking a similar phone that's Marshmallow and uh, just you know editing the things we need to edit to uh, to build and of course we're gonna have a lot of interesting things to look at because we still need to change like partition information we need to go through and change the camera information so lots of lots of things we need to do uh, lots of um, lots of vendor blobs from our phone that we need to actually utilize instead of these ones but uh, but we'll get to that um, after we start building. So as always, uh, if anything interesting comes up during the build, I'll be sure to capture that. And if not, then uh, perhaps uh, tomorrow we can look at how we can edit, uh, make more edits, and hopefully start working on a successful boot uh, if it doesn't boot off the bat, which I don't suspect that it will particularly because our partition information is incorrect and also the display information is uh, not correct for this phone. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully uh, that will give you some ideas when you're working on uh, things for yourself and uh, look forward to uh, continuing the journey with you.